Join me in this nature journey as we pick daisy flowers for their healing potential and bring them to life through the mesmerizing art of watercolors. Did you know that Bellis Sylvester's or Southern Daisy has been used for centuries as a herbal remedy? From soothing skin irritations to promoting digestion and easing coughs, these remarkable wild daisies hold a wealth of therapeutic benefits. Gently, with a mindful touch, pluck the blossoms from their stems, selecting only the freshest and most vibrant flowers. Be sure to choose flowers that are fully opened as they contain the highest concentration of beneficial compounds and flavor. Transferring line drawing, which is provided for this tutorial as well as a reference photo. After transferring, I have a very light graphite outline. Now with mechanical pencil 0.3, I outline again, but this time very, very lightly. Don't push too hard. With an elastic eraser, removing the excess amount of graphite from the paper. With white flowers, we need to remove as much as possible, leaving only super light and thin lines of graphite. Before mixing watercolors, I want to go and collect some flowers again, so I have a reference in front of me to compare grey watercolor mixes that I will be mixing. Mixing palette is ready. Flowers, watercolors. For this painting I will use lemon yellow, alizarin crimson, permanent rose, manganese violet, ultramarine blue, sap green and Indian yellow. Let's mix watercolors using ultramarine blue, alizarin crimson and little touch of lemon yellow, ultramarine blue, alizarin crimson and even smaller touch of lemon yellow to get grey watercolor mix. When painting white flower it is very important that we look, look almost only at the shadow area. And the shadow in white color on white surface is gray. But also there are some other colors that are around the flower because white surface is reflecting everything that is around this particular subject. Diluting with water the same watercolor mix and having the lighter part of the same mix. Now I'm using ultramarine blue, manganese violet and lemon yellow and I find this combination of three pigments more softer gray color. Adding more ultramarine blue and I have cooler gray mix. Watercolors are mixed. Brush and paper towel ready. Be sure that your water is clean after mixing watercolors. Starting painting process with super transparent watercolor layers, building saturation gradually with patience. Each petal is painted separately. I encourage you to open reference right beside your tutorial on the screen or on the other gadget if you can and zoom in closer the area that you are working on. Adding clean permanent rows to some petals that we see in the reference have pink outer edges. Again, if we see something like these beautiful marks, we are not just applying them everywhere. We have in the reference guidance where we have those pink spots. Taking clean manganese violet, 
for the petals that we have on the right side. I can clearly see from the reference that that side is darker, it's in the shadow, and it's more closer to violet rather than gray watercolor mix. Painting next layer, making it slightly darker, building contrast and saturation with layers. I apply from the shadow area of the centerpiece, which is also called pistol, this center area, leaving unpainted the one that is in the light, adding a little touch of pearl in maroon. Now with each brush stroke as I'm applying gray watercolor mix, I'm also separating petals. Carefully, when you are applying shadow on one petal, you're instantly correcting other petal which is in the light. That way I'm making petal edges crisper with the help of the shadow area of the other petal. Full tutorial of this daisy flower is available on my Patreon. If you want to level up your watercolor painting skills and enjoy the process, consider subscribing to my online art school on Patreon. I'm teaching basics of realistic watercolor painting, give monthly feedbacks on students' work and available more than 180 real-time tutorials. These tutorials are available for all painting levels. Applying finishing touches to this painting. I can clearly see that the reference has more darkness in the shadow area, but I'm already happy with the result how this daisy looks. You can push yourself a little bit further, paint longer, some extra 20-30 minutes will only benefit your painting. And also you will learn how to look yourself, where to go by yourself, so we are here not just to blindly follow tutorials, but to learn and that you can paint your references that you like. I really enjoyed painting this daisy flower. Hope you also tried it, painted, enjoyed it and most importantly learned something new. As I finished this tutorial, flowers also are ready to be stored and later made into nice tea. Thank you for watching, thank you for being here and see you in my next tutorials. Bye bye!